Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amazon Shaktivel, and in this playlist, I'm going to cover how we can migrate an existing APM project that is on 7.xx Java client to an 8.xx because the latest version of Java client is version 8. Uh, there are a lot of breaking changes that have happened. Uh, in this particular playlist, I'm going to help to cover a migration of an existing project to an uh, 8.x, uh, you know, Java client. Right. Let's first understand what are the uh, breaking changes that happen. Again, uh, APM guys have clearly documented what needs to be done. Uh, for example, uh, we are not or following any JSON wire protocol and we are strictly following WC3, which means uh, using your decide capabilities, uh, you know, is, is not recommended anymore. And you have to go and use uh, something from XEUA test options or UA automated two options or even the base options. Right, we will cover them in detail, but on a high level, you cannot use decide capabilities anymore. Um, uh, for the element lookups, again, uh, there were previously a lot of noise around it. There were a lot of methods that were really confusing, and then they have removed all the find by methods. Uh, and then you know, uh, there is no more mobile by, it's all about APM by. And then there are a lot of naming changes that happened to follow the camel casing. Again, we will cover all of them in detail. Uh, but again, uh, these are all very small changes. Like, you know, you, obviously you would have to, uh, you can basically do this by yourself. Um, again, the important changes that I want to cover, for example, uh, previously we had a, a mobile element, Android element, iOS element. For now, we only have web element. But some of the changes here are, are mostly not being used by us, uh, you know, elaborately. So some of the changes like contacts are rotatable, uh, you know, we might not even notice that we have to do something about this, right? Uh, so again, there is no need of mobile elements, iOS element, Android element. It's just gonna be mobile element, uh, web element from here on. Uh, again, we can see them, uh, but we are going to cover all these changes uh, in the coming videos, right? Um, again, the important change that I want to cover is the touch action and multi-touch action has class been deprecated. So how to perform scrolls, swipes, uh, using the new methods is, is going to be the biggest chunk of this particular playlist. But, uh, you know, all other things are very self-explanatory, right? I will leave the link in the description of this, uh, you know, uh, you know, APM documentation so you can have a look at it, right? So these methods are normally that I do normally use. I hopefully, uh, you know, I also hopeful that you won't also use this. But again, it's, it's very straightforward so you can understand it. Uh, again, I don't recommend using APM driver local service. It's all about uh, starting your APM server by yourself. Uh, don't try to create this via code. Again, if you are doing that, there is also some changes involved here. You can also look at that, right? Uh, yeah, so what, what I have done is I already have a playlist uh, to create master framework in my YouTube uh, where I have a framework for automating web, mobile, and API. Uh, in this play, uh, you know, framework, I have test for mobiles. For example, uh, if I go to the test folder here, I have test cases that are covering mobile, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to migrate this existing 7.x APM Java client to eight and also find out all the errors and then resolve them one by one. So that's what we are going to do. So I will also leave this particular link uh, in the description, right? So this is the framework that I was speaking about. So first thing that I want to do is go to the pom.xml, change the APM Java client version from 7.6 to 8.3. But before doing that, I want to make sure that uh, I can run my test currently, right? Let's go and run a simple Android test that I have already and make sure that everything works fine. So this is my APM server that is up and running and I have my Android emulator. So again, it's launched the API demos app. And then there is also scrolling involved here, which also we want to do with the latest code. Yes. So everything gets passed, right? Everything looks good until unless I change this to 8.3.0, which is which is what the base uh, latest version. Once I do this, uh, you know, there seems to be a lot of effort, uh, errors coming out. Let's see, it should come.
So if you notice, there are a lot of errors, errors coming here. So we are going to fix them one by one uh, in the coming videos, right? So that's going to be the agenda. I'll see you guys in another great video. Tada, bye-bye.